thank you so much guys for subscribing to my channel and supporting me to spread this uh, gospel of safety and health uh, today I have one of my supporters still he's going to educate us about salt how important it is why we really need the salt in our body and this is the thing that we eat each and every day but we have different books saying different stuff saying everything different we take salt every day and there are those who do not take even salt because they have been advised otherwise that salt have more harm in their body if they take a lot of salt so today we have mr james who is going to take us through the first episode or the first session about salt in case of any question can he comment below and we will be able to get back to you but uh before he joins me i'll ask a question how much salt do you take and do you think salt has any importance in our body have you done research about salt or do you just believe what you have been told or what you have been growing knowing welcome guys to this session whereby we'll be talking about more about salt the demonized product so far in the market whereby if you visit any facility they will tell you lack of salt if you visit any nutritionist will tell you lack of salt but now this product has been there for a very long while. It's a natural product direct from nature, does not need to undergo so many processes so that it can be able to be produced and finally used by our bodies. So most of it they say if you take more salt, you're gonna have blood pressure. If you take more salt, you're gonna have products and it will interfere with your joints. But have they really told you about its importance? And why if you have less of it, then the doctors in the hospitals and facilities at the end of the day will prescribe you some of the things. And perhaps if you visit one of these facilities, in the moment whereby you are ever in a critical situation, one of the products that they will tend to give you is salt. But this time round, in a formation of fluids and direct to your veins. So, what does it really do to you? So that at the end of the day it has been the Remember, whenever you have less of salt in your body, we are talking of less sodium. Remember, whenever you have less of it, then the ions and the cations that come along, to, along with it means that you're going to suffer more headaches than what they presume. They have said that sugar is better than salt, but salt outweighs all the products that have been there in the market. One of the things it can be used to fight infections in case you have any wound. And also, salt is very important. Remember, even the word itself says, where salt clacks, then words got no taste. Have you ever prepared food and meal without salt? The meal, at the end of the day, is not tasty. It requires a little bit of salt here and there. And remember, at the end of the day, take enough of salt so that your body, brain cells are nourished and well balanced. Because we are talking in terms of cations and anions, what we have learned back then in chemistry. These are some of the basic sciences that have been there for too long. Why have we thrown away the basics of what we have at our hand? And whenever we visit those consultation facilities, we not, no longer consult, but we take whatever they tell us at the end of the day. We need to make consultation. Why does the doctor, is he telling me that today's salt is bad? Remember that if you want to excrete salt in your body, you just have to exercise, have enough release of sweat in your body. You will see it in the skin. But nothing else has salt. Salt is good and it has got no disadvantages as any other product that you have been ingesting through your body. Let nobody tell you to take less of it. Let nobody advise you otherwise about salt true from nature and nature has never provided to us anything that can harm us remember he has been promising us from time to time anything that i give unto you is good so salt one of the best products that perhaps if you have any headache you can lick it as well 
put it in water. If you have been experiencing headaches from time to time, then also it's a good thing that can help you in avoiding those migraines that you have been experiencing from time to time. You just need to have a balance and continuity in absorbing it into your body. As much as people talk about its disadvantages, they have never told us about its advantages and how it outweighs so many other things that we tend to consume and think it is part of parcel of us. So, currently it's being packed in different nations, from uh, the papers, and different name is being given unto it. Talk of Himalaya salt, talk of table salt. In whichever form you come across it, consume it, my friend. It's one of the best products you can ever have. It's free, direct from nature. Packed and delivered to your doorstep. Don't have less of it, because as we all know, even if you have less of it in your house, then somewhere along the way, then something is not going right. Then this has all been pushed by, by himself, the man known as Eric Amunga. America is known in his Twitter platform. That led me to read more about it, see more about it, and use it in more, more and more of it, this sort of thing. Why is it for long that people now are talking of differences in it? It's not that it has just appeared the other year. It is as ancient as man. And soldiers used to be paid something known as salarium, as I picked the quote from his death the man himself, Amir Kamung. Remember, this guy from wherever he came from, blessings are coming your way, as you have told me so much, that salt, despite being demonized, despite being left alone, it stands for itself. That nothing tastes sweeter, nothing tastes wonderful, whenever it lacks salt. You just need to add it. I let no one tell you that if you add raw salt, it will lead to problems. And they talk much of what are you taking with when you're talking of this salt only. Or they only see the salt that you are adding it when it's raw. But they are not seeing anything else that you're taking on your plate. So eat your salt if you can. You have headache, eat it. You have stomach problem, eat it. It has been there, it's ancient as man. And as Swahili says, Kwish Kwingi, Kona Mingi. Na Mzea liishi miaka mingi pia, hamekula chumbi nyingi. Mbona wakasema? Lakini, hawa kutueleza ya kwamba, ati, Kwish Kwingi sikari nyingi, ala. Kwish Kwingi, Kona Mingi, na Kona Mingi. As I finish, and as good as it is, no one should cut you short on this best product. Buy it in any form. Consume it. And more so if you can bathe with it, bathe with it. It's one of the good products that we have so far remaining in our market that it cannot be manipulated in either form. They are trying here and there, every now and then, but it remains the best product for us to use all. If you're sick, eat it. Why should you stop? Why should you not use it at the end of the day? What is holding you back from not using it if you really want it? What is holding you back? Are you talking of the disease that you're suffering from? That you're telling me today you're suffering from diabetes? If you're telling me today you're suffering from hypertension, no, 
take it, consume it, it's good. Even your body needs it. It helps to balance the ions and cations, and perhaps when it's in excess form, it's removed from the body. Remember, the body cannot hold anything that is in excess in itself. Anything that is in excess, it either removes or converts. And so, whatever it cannot remove, then becomes harmful to you. But as long as it can remove and convert, my friend, eat your salt. Uh, so, Mr. Jim, you mean that even if I am diabetic, I just continue taking salt? Continue taking salt. Why should you take less of it? And perhaps if you have less of it, then you'll have less of sodium. And if you visit the facilities, they'll give you a drug for it. Why? Is there a condition that at any point a doctor will, or even your body, will uh, like respond that does not need more, more salt? They may tell you to reduce the intake of salt, but perhaps if you go even to the labs and check in the labs, they'll check the degrees of it around 35 to 45, synchronizing that a person in a day should take up to at least a spoonful of salt. So thank you very much, Mr. James. Up to the next uh, episode where we are going to hear about more uh, on disadvantage and uh, adv advantage of salt. So keep it locked. Comment if you have any question. Kindly comment below for more answer as we wait for the next episode. Thank you. See you in the next episode. Cheers.